Arise 32 is here. We thank God for how he has helped us. Good morning, OFNC. Good morning, people of God. I would like to invite our headliner for this year, Inspector Michelle Ugwezi, to join us on stage. I would like to say to anyone who sees this video who isn't a member of OFNC, what are you waiting for? Join us. It's an amazing, amazing family to be a part of. My name is Fumilayo Joy Bafua. I am a, a member of the Newcastle branch of OFNC. I am the National Publicity Secretary of OFNC. I'm also the editor-in-chief of Arise magazine. Outside of the fellowship, I'm a civil servant. I'm an intercessor. I'm a publisher. Um, and I love to read. And recently I've discovered that I enjoy traveling as well. So I am traveling all over the place, enjoying the beauty of God's creation. And I love engaging with people. I'm a people person. Arise Magazine is a very interesting platform. So it's the flagship publication of OFNC. It's our primary, uh, or one of our primary publicity venues um, through which we share the gospel with our readers. We introduce people to the OFNC we introduce people to Jesus. We build up people's knowledge, wisdom, skills, different things. Um, Arise Magazine, we're doing Arise 32 this year. So we've produced 31 previous editions and it has been going for a long time. It's had various iterations and we now have this new glossy cover that you see. Um, several people have looked after it and handed over the button to me. And I have found the experience to be very challenging. There's uh, uh, one thing I have to say is that my decision making and problem solving skills have gone through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of problems and there's a lot of decisions to be made. Um, but that has actually also served me really well because it has helped me to learn and to grow as a person. I knew, I mean, I came in as an editor and then to step up to be editor in chief was massive. That was about less than two years after I joined the Arise editorial body. But I work with a in fact, the word isn't wonderful. The superlative of wonderful is what I would use. An absolutely amazing group of people that make up the Arise editorial body. And we live all over the country, but we've got this really fantastic rapport. Everybody works hard. Everybody runs in their own lane. And we come together every time to produce this outstanding publication where we invite contributions. So I only write a couple of articles. We actually invite contributions from, surprisingly, we send out our communications and people respond from all over the world. There was a particular year when I asked our writers to send me their addresses so I can send them the magazine. And I had an address from the United Arab Emirates. I was like, how on earth did this person in the UAE hear about Arise magazine? Somebody gave their address as being in South Korea. I'm like, wow, Arise has gone global. So we have people from all over the world. Nigeria, we get a lot of articles from Nigeria where people are contributing to advancing the gospel. And that's what Arise is about. We're a platform for advancing the gospel. Of course, we're also a platform for thought leadership and we're a publicity vehicle for the OFNC. But above all, we're about advancing the gospel. The fellowship has always, always supported Arise immensely. 
the, the reception, the compliments, the accolades, all of that goes to God. But the fellowship is quite justifiably very, very proud of Arise. It's our own. We are the ones that write the article. So it's, it's something that the fellowship is highly invested in. And the, the members of OFNC are really passionate about Arise. And so that invigorates me as the editor-in-chief. You know, the passion is contagious. Um, with regards to Arise 32, I think the one of the really important collections that we have this year that we've not had previously, we have a collection on leadership. And this is the age where disciples have to step up as leaders. In OFNC, our motto is everyone a faithful disciple of Christ. And so we are positioned in the world that we live in to lead people to Christ. That is the reason why we're still on earth after we're saved. So therefore, the articles on leadership that talk about being a good leader, things to watch out for, the prunes and the cons, the hints and the tips, they are really, really critical. And I would certainly invite people's attention to those. If you want to be a leader in your workplace, if you want to be a leader in the marketplace, if you want to be a leader in your community, even in your home, as a single person, you are a leader because you lead yourself. So it's really important that we, we glean knowledge on being better leaders. So I highly recommend those. And um, there's also articles on missions that I think are really, really important for us to read as the body of Christ, to be focused on the mission field beyond our immediate context. So we have a collection of articles on leadership. And then our headliner this year is an absolutely spectacular woman of God who is telling of the glory of God within the police force. So Inspector Michelle Iguese, we're telling her story this year. And she's been a Christian right from her youth. So she's telling of that journey of walking with God. So our title is When Grace Meets Glory. And so the glory of God is showing forth, but we have a part to play in that as disciples. So I'm so excited about Arise 32 and I absolutely invite everybody to partner with telling the story of God in this season by taking Arise 32 everywhere and anywhere. You can leave it on the train for the next person who comes in to sit and read and encounter the story of God. Give it to your friends, give it to your work colleagues, use it as an evangelism tool, use it as a discipleship tool. And of course, read it yourself and come back to the stories again. There's testimonies in there talking about legacy, talking about the works that speak when we're no longer here. And so Arise 32 it is absolutely sensational. It's a transition year, not just for Arise magazine, but actually for the whole fellowship, because we've had our elections and over the course of this weekend, all of our new officers will be presented and they will assume office. I think that's a really fantastic thing because it allows for the work of God to grow and to develop, for new ideas to be brought into place. Of course, all of us existing leaders, we will support the incoming leaders. So I'm going to remain a part of the Arise editorial body, but I won't be leading the Arise editorial body anymore. And so I'm stepping into the role of the treasurer for the organization and somebody else is coming in as the national publicity secretary. And the word of advice I would give to incoming leaders is to rise up and take up the challenge. I remember when I came in as national publicity secretary, every two minutes when something else comes up and my heart wants to shake. The scripture that God gave me for the first two years is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If I recited that scripture once, I recited it more than 10 times every day. 
And I got to the stage where I could see that I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so when you're coming in as a leader, there is a lot of the unknown. But God who has called you to that position is backing you fully. He's actively invested in making sure that you succeed. For the leaders who are stepping out of office at present, God always has something else in store. So I know that you're moving on to bigger and better. And I would say, enjoy the ride because God is always at work. Because OFNC has 23 branches, there's a lot of people that I don't get to see through the course of the year, but I will see them at conference. So it's a chance to meet with old friends, connect with new friends. There's a lot of spiritual refreshing because you get a lot of influx of the word concentrated over a short period of time. It's like for somebody who maybe has respiratory problems, they give you a course of steroids a lot within a short time. Your lungs will just perk right up. That's how it is when we come for the OFNC conference. There's a high level spiritual injection. That means that your spirit man just zoops straight up. In addition to that, you get the deposits that you take away with you. So the connections that we make with each other are things that I've made amazing friends here in the OFNC conference. So by the time I go back, I'm all chilled out. I've had a great time. My skin is glowing. My brain is refreshed and my spirit man is ramped up. Mm -hmm.